The Nigerian economy is out of recession. What is urgently needed now is to accelerate growth, especially in its non-oil sector. As the industrial capital of Nigeria, Ogun State plays a critical role in this regard. The position in the state for this role is the crux of this town hall meeting on Ogun State budget for 2019. Royal fathers, traders, civil and public servants, labor and trade unions, students, technicians and artisans are all in attendance at the June 12 Cultural Center, Kuto, in Abelkuta, the state capital. The Gateway State is a microcosm of Nigeria's non-oil economy. It is the nation's industrial hub with a critical manufacturing base that still has tremendous growth potential as it expands further and stimulates the development of supporting value chains. Most of the meeting is interactive as participants take turns to praise the Amosu administration for its performance over the last seven and a half years. Concerns are also raised about environmental issues. At the end of the day, Governor Amosu makes it clear that beyond the physical infrastructure, he'd like to be remembered for leaving behind a system that works. Over the past seven and a half years, our administration has deployed the resources of the state to help create a conducive and business-friendly environment that has encouraged private investment, both local and foreign. To do business in Ogun State, this has changed the status of our dear state from a hitherto economic backwater to become an industrial destination of choice. As at the last count, we have been able to attract over 150 new industries who have individually invested between a minimum of 200 million and in excess of 2 billion in some instances. Invariably, the budget town hall meeting is the last to be conducted by the current administration in Ogun State, but Governor Ibikule Amosu insists he'll leave no stone unturned in delivering on his mandate as his tenure winds down. Yeah.